<laughs> right. <laughs> Nobody watches my bloopers. They don't? No. I oh. think they're hysterical, but oh. what they, do I know? They mess out. They're totally. just for you. Yeah. They're really just, they're vanity <laughs> pieces. Right. I enjoy them. Hi, Angel. Victoria, crazybananalady.org. Hi. And Rebecca. We're going to talk today about what what is detox. I got yes. a, I got a message today from a friend who was, uh, she's just gone raw. And it's about two weeks in, and she's really concerned because she doesn't have a lot of energy. And she's like, is this normal? Am I experiencing normal detox? What is this? Um, is it normal not to feel well? So what, after 10 years of doing this lifestyle, what would you say? Well, um, it was funny that she had said that because I've been doing this 10 years, mostly raw vegan. And um, two weeks ago, I came down with a fever for two days and then um, I thought I had gotten over it but then um, my th I continued to have a sore throat and earache and um, very low energy mm -hmm. and each day very very slowly getting better but um, I realized that even after 10 years I, this is this is a very intense detox that I'm going through. Yeah. Um, and I and I actually think anytime we get a cold or um, mucus buildup of any sort or any of that, it's our bodies going to town to clean house. That's detoxing. And it's detoxing. So instead of saying I'm sick, I've I've changed my wording through this, and it's it's my body doing some deep healing mm -hmm. right now. Um, I spent years as a child. I had pneumonia and chronic ear infections when I was two years old. My ear drum burst, and I bet it was in my left ear because that's the one I always seem to have trouble with. Mm -hmm. And then I had chronic strep throat, chronic Jeez. bronchitis, and I was always taking antibiotics. And all the way up until I was 34 years old when I started this lifestyle. Wow. And. I've been doing this 10 years and I never really had this intense detox that people talk about. Well, right. I think it, I think I finally got it, <laughs> but it's good because my ears now they've, they've mostly cleared up, but I could tell that it was all those years of antibiotics. The antibiotics don't really allow your body to heal. They get in the body's way of healing. They get in the body's way of healing. They do temporary healing, but it will always be coming back mm -hmm. because it hasn't truly healed and I feel right now where did Angel go oh there she is yeah. I feel right now that um, I am my body is doing some true true healing um, in my ears and my throat I've also had my tonsils removed um, from being so sick when I was a kid when I was seven and mm -hmm. and my sore throat continues and a part of me is thinking Maybe those tonsils are growing back. But. <laughs> hey, you never know. <laughs> right? the body that would be awesome. The body does some pretty crazy things. But um, so anyway, this is this is actually a good thing. And my low energy, it's just I'm used to go 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 biking, walking eight hours a day. Yeah, you're you're pretty active, self sufficient woman. Go go go. Um, but I've been practicing living a slow paced life, and I think I finally just got slow enough. Yeah. That my body said, okay, good, we're going to go deep. Yeah. And um, Sometimes you have to allow the body to rest in order for it to do what it's supposed to do in the first place, right? Yes. And I, and I, I really believe that. And so this is actually exciting to me. I'm getting lots of rest as much as I can. I'm reading a lot. And um, I'm not getting my long walks of looking around at nature. But uh, I'm enjoying just the rest and reading and I listening a lot I just close my eyes and I listen to the sounds around me and there's birds singing all the time there's always birds singing and they're just the most beautiful music and um, so you're working actively to reduce stress in your life and stress is, yes. is a huge inhibitor yes. for healing yes and so that's all part of detox and I totally quit worrying about whether I'm out making money right now or whatever which is being a single mom yeah I I just, it's, this is amazing because most people use single motherhood, a lot of single moms, not most, a lot of single moms use single motherhood as an excuse to not be able to rest. Mm -hmm. And I've done it. And now I really see that 
I still can rest and I still, all my bills are paid and abundance is still in my life. That's amazing. And which has been great because I realize abundance comes to me. I don't have to go out to find it. Yeah. If, if I feel abundant and I and I take care of myself and do what's best for me, then the universe It's almost is like there. you're creating your own abundance. Yeah, exactly. That's so I'm, cool. I'm creating this abundant healing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and so, so detox isn't really something to be afraid of because it's all part of the natural progression of the journey. Yes. And, and, and not just that, but would, would you agree that detoxing is more of like a constant state of being when you're a healthy person, that your yes. body is constantly detoxing right. and you just hit different patches or cycles of deeper detox along the way, which yeah. are good. And, and we, you know, you can call, call them a healing crisis or whatever you like to call those, um, the deeper, the deeper detoxing, um, or you could even call it being sick or whatever's more comfortable <laughs> right, for you. Right. But, um, yeah, but that's just a that label. normal. That it is normal. Total, that detoxing is normal. It is normal and it's a celebration. I mean, I think it should be celebrated. Angel! Anyway, she's somewhere. We'll she's find her. <laughs> she's, she's used to she's used to this area, so she doesn't go far. Good. But. Okay. Well, um, my and then when like when when you and I first went raw vegan, I mean, I'm assuming that you hit a deeper detoxing when you first went raw. Well, and it was hard. See, then I couldn't really tell because I also at the same time. Uh, just shortly after I went raw, I totally cold turkey all my prescription med medications. So you were going to withdraw. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> so you, it was probably just but so it was, it was so about much. three months of, of being intensely sick, intense. Yeah. And but I knew because so you I, didn't really know which one was detoxing from right from yes. the food or detoxing right. from the medications. But it's all the same thing. But I really. knew that was that I was on the right path even then. I yeah. knew because I would get these glimpses of feeling more amazing than I ever remember feeling and I knew and it just kept coming more well, like and it, more. It's encouragement like those little yeah. glimmers of hope yes. where you're like I'm feeling that glimmer of that almost fruit high in this moment like see I, I got that a few times in my first six weeks my first six weeks were the most rough but I was also coming off from MS and you know damage from benzo withdrawal and like a laundry list of other medical conditions I felt terrible but not nearly as terrible as I had felt when I was in the hospital. Yeah, so yeah exactly. From, from, from my perspective, too. it wasn't as terrible to go through the initial detox, but during that time, I could actively feel glimmers and little uh -huh. snippets of hope of like, oh, I can feel like I have an almost, I'm almost gearing up, like my body's yes. almost creating its own energy. I can feel there's hope. And then like it would go back, slump back into the, I don't right. feel good, I have the flu type things. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of mucus, there's a lot of, uh, flu-like symptoms yes. I, I felt. Yeah. The, I the, still got the mucus coming and yeah but and mucus um, just escorts toxins out of the body mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I mean that's that's a just good thing. It <laughs> yeah it's a good thing. It's, it's a good sign and it made your body strong too yeah. Yeah and just why well my advice would be to whenever you hit those little glimmers of hope just hold on to those because it's going to feel like that all the time but way better yes. and and once you ride out the detox and whatever phase of detox you're in, it does get better. It gets so much better. And you and you and you learn to listen to your body and know your body. So you really know what's going on. There's not this oh maybe what if what if do I need to get medication blah blah blah. It's like you know that your body is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing, and you have confidence and trust mm -hmm. and faith in in your body being able to heal itself. Absolutely. And, and when you get that too, that's just amazing because. It's, it takes away that fear of, oh, I'm going to get this disease randomly, like lightning strikes and boom, <laughs> I got this disease. You right. know, it's like, I know that I'm not going to get these diseases. Right. You because, know your body is strong now. Yeah. Then I know the cause. The cause of, of all diseases is... Toxicity. Toxicity, inflammation and... Yeah. and um, it's so empowering to know yeah. this yeah. and and to have been through detox it is empowering at the end because you're like i know i can do this i yes. know i know i can get through this and you feel you're like i did it you yeah know? it's like most like, people bring it life i've got this dealing what i've dealt with the past two weeks would have already been on oh um, yeah they'd been rushing to the doctor to, getting medicated and a, and a, uh, no i can't even think antibiotics <laughs> yes, <I> yeah <laughs> antibiotics. Drugs. i even forgot what they're called drugs <laughs> yeah. 
And yeah, most people would have because it was intense at times. But I knew that that would not heal me. And, and, no. I, and actually, antibiotics would make me feel worse. They, so. a, a lot of medications, and a lot of people will say, well, can I take medications for my symptoms during detox? The answer is if you, if you really, 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 really have to, I guess. But what, understand that if you are taking medications, it's going to take away your symptoms. But those symptoms are there, like and mucus. come back. But, but mucus is there for a purpose. It's inconvenient for us to cough or hack or whatever, but the purpose of the mucus is to escort the toxins out of the body. If you remove that mucus and if you remove the body's natural ability to heal itself, it's not, it's not effective. Your body is just taking away the symptoms to be more convenient and happy for you to be more comfortable, but you're not actually doing anything. It just, you know, suppresses your toxicity and yeah. it, it won't come out. The goal is to get it out. Yeah. And, and it, you can't get it out. I mean, how, how are you going to do that without your yeah. mucus? Yeah. And I say honor your body. If your body says to need rest, figure out a way to get rest. Yeah. Take, don't, yeah. don't push. Take time off don't if you need to. Don't ever destroy your body for money. I was really good at doing that for <laughs> yeah. a long time. Just don't, okay? it, it's a dead end road. It's a dead end. <laughs> I, I have to concur. It did me no favors. <laughs> yes. Because the money's gone and you're still sick. Yeah. And, and uh. When you take care of yourself and love and honor yourself, you create abundance and abundance finds you. You yeah. know, it's like, so. Like a magnet. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, this was awesome. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, I just love you. I know, I love hanging out with you. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad I'm moving closer to you. I am so glad too. We're gonna I'm have so, so much more time together. Oh man, oh man. We're gonna go on adventures. So yes. we'll take you with yes. us. <laughs> yes, because I will eventually be strong and doing my long bike rides and yeah. I'll take you with me. I'm going to get a bike. Yes. I'm going to have to learn how to ride a bike. Yeah. It, it'll happen fast. Yeah. I figure it'll happen fast. She'll teach me. I will. I'll be like, go <laughs> <laughs> pedal faster. No, I won't. I'll be honor your body, Rebecca. Right. <laughs> Listen to your body. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Bye. <laughs>